ditch in a little uh, of the road here. Um, I'm on Ellsworth Road, which uh, is not surprising. Uh, Ellsworth seems to run the length of Arizona from north to south, as far as I can tell. <laughs> it's, it's a road you're going to end up on uh, one way or another at some point and probably fairly frequently you will be on Ellsworth Road. Uh, oh, here's a little sign out here that says Phoenix. You see it? Now we, oh, it's still 45. And I'm on the road. Oh, man, I'm in the desert. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm in the desert, baby. Wow! That's cool. All right, I want to focus on John 10, 27. Jesus says, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. And no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. And no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. I and the Father are one. I want to focus on the beginning of this passage, the three phrases, my sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. Those are three very important phrases, and the scriptures uh, speak uh, in depth about each one of these aspects of our relationship with Christ. My sheep hear my voice. There's another passage where he talks about uh, the, uh, the shepherd who calls his sheep by name and, and uh, leads them out. Okay? So that's another place where he talks about what it means to hear my voice. Uh, another thing that it means is in some of the conversations Jesus has with uh, the larger crowd of his followers uh, when he says things like, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And as he's speaking these truths, sometimes he's saying, for him who has ears to hear, let him hear. Well, those who have ears to hear are hearing his voice. They're hearing the voice of God speaking into their lives, into their hearts. And that's an aspect of this phrase, my sheep 
hear my voice? How have you heard Christ's voice? Have you heard his voice speak into your conscience, telling you what is what is pleasing to him, what is not pleasing to him? Have you have you heard it, his voice through your reading of the word, particular word that has brought conviction perhaps of sin, or a word that has brought rejoicing in God's grace and kindness, or a word that's brought correction, or a word that's brought instruction in how to live in the way of Christ. My sheep hear my voice. There's another way and another time that his sheep will hear his voice. And he says, it has to do with the next phrase, I know them. I know them. Jesus knows his sheep. Remember, the shepherd calls them out by name. Jesus knows his sheep. There will be many who, in the day of judgment, will say, Lord, Lord, didn't we prophesy in your name and do great things in your name? And he'll say, I never knew you. Be gone. And he will cast them away, cast them aside, because they never really heard his voice. They just lacked the idea, perhaps, of who he is and what he's about and, and following his, as it were, philosophy of life or something more uh, general like that, but it wasn't a personal relationship of following, of knowing. This is the kind of intimate knowledge a friend has a, where there's a deep relationship. Well, there's a lot of people who say they know Christ, but there's no real relationship. So this has very much to do with what Jesus meant when he said, I know them. Does he know you? Does Jesus know you? And they follow me, is the third phrase. Yes, this is an aspect of being saved. Because we know, he says right after this, I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. Those who are saved, follow him. It involves all three of these things. Hearing his voice, being known by him, following him. Following his leading, following his lordship, following him. My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. I and the Father are one.